All right, a common approach to launching an event or a program is to have like dripping some free short videos before you have the sign up be open available, right? Uh, this is a typical sales sales launch or sales funnel. And, um, you know, I, for example, someone might say, oh, I have 14 days um, of content. You know, maybe not all 14 days have free content, but some of those 14 days have videos or articles or, or webinars or whatever before I launch my program. Such a common, common uh, launch process. And I've done the same thing in past years. And the thing I don't like about it now is that, um, I mean, I, I get it. It is context setting for the potential customer or client to say, oh, wow, you're giving away these free things and then you're going to launch something. What I think can be done with that authentically is if you are very open about it, say, hey, I'm excited to be launching my coaching program, my uh, online event, my conference or whatever that, you know, and it's going to be available for purchase or available. You can hire me starting December 1st. And um, so in kind of in anticipation of that launch, I'm going to kind of give you some free content along the way, you know, and some people get really motivated to create free content that way. And I get it. And if it motivates you to free free content, that's better than nothing, I guess. Um, but what I don't like about it is that there is so much, um, it, there can be a lot of attachment from the, from the business owner's point of view to say, my God, I'm bending over backwards for you. Uh, look how much I'm doing for you. I, I'm giving you these six free videos. Uh, I may have given you more. I may have given you articles and, and webinars and whatever. And like, body, like, first of all, in the whole planning of it, you're already saying, well, got it. They're, they better buy, right? It's a, so, so let me ask you the question. If, they don't, if nobody buys at the end of that, are you going to feel resentful? Are you going to feel discouraged? <laughs> right? And the answer is yes and yes. Like, why the hell would I do all this stuff, bend over backwards for them if, if it wasn't for selling them? I mean, that's the whole plan. That's the whole reason. So the, psycho, psycho, so the psychology of it is, is already twisted. I mean, it's already quid pro quo. It's already means to an end. And whenever we are doing anything means to an end, it's hard to be authentic, isn't it? It's like, I'm doing this so that you will do this for me. If I didn't know you were going to, if, if, if I knew you weren't going to do this for me, I wouldn't do that for you. But it's like, and then the customer says, listen, I, I'm just checking out your free content here. I didn't, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to buy from you and I might not buy from you at the end. Now, are you going to resent me for that? Are you going to, you know, are you going to say I'm a bad person? Are you going to say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I got just, I'm a tire kicker here. Right. That's what I used to do. Right. Like, uh, that's how I used to treat my potential customers. You're a tire kicker. You, know, you just get my free stuff. You don't buy my stuff. So many people, so many business owners get into that bind. Karmic bind, right? Uh, you could take it whichever spiritual pathway you want to take it. It's, it's all, all the spiritual path which says give unconditionally rather than give conditionally. So this is why I talk about free content. The authentic free content doesn't have that bind. It doesn't have that, like, I'm doing this because you better buy from me later, you know? And so my launches don't include that. As you'll notice, when I'm ready to sell you something, I sell it to you. I'm just very upfront. And I try to make my launches as light as possible with multiple stages. My first stage of my launch is just a Facebook text-only post with a PayPal button. There's no sales page yet. I'm not, I'm not even, I've not even spent the energy to create a sales page yet. I simply came up with a few paragraphs you know, half hour, I wrote a few paragraphs, set up a PayPal button, see if anybody buys. Took me 45 minutes. You see what I mean? And if nobody buys after 45 minutes, I'm not, I'm not in a, you know, I'm not resentful of people. I'm not discouraged because it took me 45. Oh, good test. Now, of course, before those 45 minutes, I had hopefully done some market research to kind of, but the, even the market research is, um, hopefully enjoyable because you're talking to your potential clients and you're hearing about their stories and their needs and their wants and, and you're making connections and those connections could blossom to other things. They don't have to buy the very next thing from you, right? But, and they're giving you information from the market, which is you're grateful already. I mean, the market research process is already, they're giving stuff to you, right? You're, you're, you should be grateful that they even tell you anything, 
right? Because that's gold that they're giving to you. That they're telling you what they've bought before or what the problems that they are having now or what they've considered buying. And they're giving you feedback on what they bought, whatever it is. They're like, wow, how else could I get this information unless they told me? I wouldn't have known because I'm so in my head. As business owners, we're also in our head or in our intuition, so, so supposedly, that we think we know what people want, but we don't know what they want until we talk to them. So the market research hopefully gets you to the offer, but the offer you try to launch as quickly and lightly as possible so that you don't dis discourage yourself. You're, you make a humble offer. I always say this, you make a humble offer to say, hey, I don't know, based on my market research, I'm gonna try this next. Anyone want interested? No one's interested, no big deal. That's what I expected. I expected that nobody would buy and not disappointed. And law of attraction people would say no 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 you should never expect no sales hey guess what i expect no sales all the time and i get plenty of sales law of attraction people please explain how that works law of attraction is broken in my life i expect no sales all the time and yes i get plenty of sales how does that work well i don't know how that works there's something called reality <laughs> if you offer something people want no matter how law of attraction you're doing oh i want a hundred thousand sales I want 100 sales, I want zero sales. Reality is still gonna come forth with the sales if it's aligned with the people you're offering it to. Law of attraction works if, if, you have, if you expect nothing and therefore you do nothing, then therefore reality gives you nothing. But if you expect nothing and yet you make a humble offer expecting nothing, reality might say, the market might say, oh, I like your humble offer, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, really? Someone bought it? Oh, wow. And then you can adjust your expectations next time because now I don't expect no sales anymore. I expect like, uh, if I get 10 sales, my, my courses typically sell between 40 and 100 now. So even 40 is a good minimum. Even I would say, so I could expect at least 15 or 20. And even if 15 or 20 buy, I probably teach the course. So my minimum is now way adjusted above that. You see what I mean? So, but right now your minimum might be zero and expect zero, but you might get two people buying and be thrilled by that. So um, I'm sorry, this is kind of went, went far from the original question, but I would say if you're direct about your selling, if you make your launches light, and then if you're creating content along the way, you, you have an audience who likes you, who knows you, who trusts you. And then if you have an offer that's aligned and you make it humbly, why would they buy? Of course they would buy. Of course, at least some of them would buy as long as they saw it enough times, right? Two or three times. So I hope this is helpful and... Um, yeah, any questions or comments, let me know below.